Hello Redbrick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have the LEGO Minecraft The Swamp Adventure Set. The set number is 21240. It has 65 pieces, one player minifigure, three mobs, and one build. Without further ado, let's take a look at the figure. So for our first figure, we get Alex. We've gotten many of these before. Alex is an iron axe. And yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing that LEGO included an Alex. I think it's okay that they included Alex. At least it's not in every set now and they do provide a lot of exclusive minifigures now so i think it's okay the next mob we get is a zombie yeah it's a zombie then we get a slime if my camera would focus we've gotten a few of these before but it is nice to get them in more and more sets because you know i think they're really cute and it's just a cute little head and of course we get the new frog piece which looks great it's a brand new mold and it just has one anti-stud on the bottom Really great printing on the front, and yeah, it's just a good mold in general. I hope we get many, many different colors of these, and I'm glad it's in the cheapest set in this wave and not the most expensive set. But you know what? It's a really great mold. So for the build, we get this really small mangrove swamp build. We have a crafting table over here, some flowers right here, the mangrove tree right in the back, which looks pretty good for a mangrove. I like that there's all those holes in there and stuff like that. We have a lily pad, which uses a new piece right there, which has a stud on it. And it's like a two round, two by one rounded tile with, yeah, I don't know, it has a stud. So now you can put a frog right there, which looks super cool. We have a block of TNT, a slime ball, which can be used for many different purposes. I think if you have the frog eat the slime ball, it'll give a frog light out. And of course, if you kill the slime, it'll get a slime ball. So, you know, many different purposes for that. And of course we have the play feature, which is kind of annoying because it's just so big right there. Like, what is that? Why is that so big? And then it just, of course, you press this down, the TNT launches and yeah, these two blocks go flying, but not my favorite play feature. Honestly, it probably didn't need it and people would still buy the set, but it's cool that they have it. I just wish they integrated it better. That's it for the build. Now let's take a look at the box and then my final verdict. The box is this tiny little box. Again, I don't like the background setting, but you know, that's what it is. Just shows the play feature and yeah. There's a real Minecraft frog, looks super cool. But yeah, that's it for the box. Now let's take a look at the instructions. So for the instructions, it obviously tells you how to build the set. Then when you get to the end, it shows the set all built up and the play feature, the piece count, and then the win. For the leftover pieces, there's only six. And the coolest one is probably that little slime ball piece. But yeah, that's it for leftover pieces. Now let's take a look at the final verdict. What more could you ask for? Lego always hits it out of the ballpark with these $10 sets. Always good fakes, good builds. And yeah, overall, just a good little set, especially because you get that frog. And for the price of $10, I can't complain too much. I mean, the only other thing I would have wished for is this play feature to be hidden pretty, you know, I wish it was hidden better. However, if I really hate it that much, I can just take it off and wow, look at that. Now it's not even there. And you know what? It was super simple. You saw me take it apart in this video. So yeah, that's it for this set. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to hear your thoughts about this set in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.